Today we're going to go over how to add a user to your Google business account. Alright, so first things first, you just have to log in to business.google.com and most likely you'll see your business listed on a page that looks similar to this. I have a lot of businesses because I manage quite a few of them for some of my clients, but you may have one or two um, depending on how many locations you manage. So go ahead and then just click on, if you only have one, then you'll see a, probably a different screen. You'll probably see the, the actual dashboard for that property. So you might just see this. In any case, once you're on this page, whether you were opened to the dashboard or had to click the property to get to this dashboard, adding a user is very simple. On the left-hand side, you go on down and you'll see Users. Click on that. You'll get a pop-up here, and you simply add this little plus sign there, Add a New User. Type in their email. In this case, I will put tester at gmail.com. Why not? And then choose a role for that user. So you are you're going to have many um, roles here to pick from. And chances are, if this is your web developer, or your SEO agency, or a digital marketer, they're going to want at least manager abilities, if not owner abilities. The more access they have, the easier it is for them to do their work. Just make sure it's someone you trust. So go ahead and add them, and then simply just click invite, and they would be invited. Of course, I'm not going to invite tester at gmail but let's just pretend I did in which case they will get an email and they will be able to become a uh, an owner or manager of your Google business listing the thing is it's really important to make sure whoever you invite already has a Google account because if you send it to an email that's not a Google account they won't get access uh, so that is just one thing to be be, be sure about all right that's it. Hey, I hope it was helpful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more helpful videos on web development and SEO and all that kind of stuff, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.